Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is dividing polynomials using long division. We used to divide numbers using the long division method during the elementary days. However, what are we going to do today is to use the same method on different algebraic polynomials. Okay, so shall I use this method on various examples? So for example, 2x squared minus x minus 15 divided by x plus 5. So both of these are polynomials. Okay, so first, we're going to identify what is the dividend here. So this is the dividend. So what are we going to do is we're going to provide the division bar for the long division. So where are we going to place a dividend? Of course, inside this bar. Then where are we going to place a divisor? Outside the divisor bar. So what are we going to do here is divide, right? So before that, we're going to identify the first term of every group. So the first term of this dividend is 2x squared, while for the divisor, it is x. So all we have to do is to find the quotient of the first terms first. Okay, so 2x squared divided by x. Since 2 is the only number here, we shall bring down 2 here. Then what are we going to do is to perform one of the law of the exponents, namely quotient law. So x squared divided by x raised to the power of 1. So all we have to do is to subtract the exponent. So the answer is 2x. Okay, so now we have the first term of the quotient. So what are we going to do next is to multiply 2x with the divisor, namely x plus 5. So what are we going to do here is 2x times x plus 5. So the method we'll be using is the distributive method. So 2x times x will be 2x squared. Then 2x times 5 will be 10x. So what are we going to do here is to subtract. Since both are positive, what we're going to do is to subtract or change signs. So 2x squared minus 2x squared, it will be cancelled. So what are we going to do here is to simplify. So negative x minus 10x will be negative 11x. Then what are we going to do here is to bring down the next term of the dividend. So now we have this result so far. So what are we going to do next is to repeat the same procedure. So since both are negative, what are we going to do is, let's say subtract. Yeah, you're right, it's subtract. That's why it will become plus because double negative. And minus times negative will be plus. That's why it becomes plus. Okay, so what will happen here is negative 11x plus 11x will be zero. So we don't need to write that. Okay, so negative 15 plus 55 will be 40. So this is the remainder of the quotient. So in order to write, can I write R40 or shall I say 2x minus 11 plus, okay, so we're going to form a fraction which serves as the remainder. So in order to form a fraction-like remainder, what we're going to do is we're going to place the divisor as the denominator and the remainder as the numerator. So 
here is the answer for this question. Okay? So now we're going to move to the next example. Okay, so here, it seems that these are jumbled. So first, what are we going to do is to arrange the terms according to decreasing powers of the exponent. Okay, so since x raised to the power of 3 is the highest, we shall place this first because it has the highest power of exponent. Then the second to the highest is 3x squared because of its exponent 2. Then we're going to write negative 15x because its exponent is 1. Then the term we're going to put at the last is always the constant. When we say the constant, it doesn't have any coefficient of x or letter or whatsoever. It's just a number. So always keep in mind that the constant should be at the last position. Okay, so we're going to apply the same procedure I have shown in the previous example. So what am I going to do is to organize first. Okay, so our first term for this dividend is x cubed and for the divisor is x. So x cubed divided by x. So using the quotient law of exponent, okay, we're going to subtract exponents. Then what am I going to do is multiply x squared with the divisor since our x squared is the first term of the quotient. Okay, so using multiplication through distributive method, what are we going to do is to simplify mismo. So it will be x cubed minus 3x squared. However, we're going to change the sign of each term. So it will be minus then plus. Okay? So what are we going to do here is now we're going to simplify 3x squared and 3x squared. So it will be 6x squared. Then what are we going to do is to bring down Then what am I going to do here is to divide 6x squared, the first term of this result, with x. So it will be plus 6x. So using the multiplication in a distributive way, it will be 6x squared minus 18x, although we're going to change signs. Okay, so what we're going to do is the same procedure. So it's just a matter of repeating the cycle. So what we're going to do next is, what is the first term? So it will be 3x. Then 3x divided by x will be plus 3. So it will be 3x minus 9. So we're going to change signs. So Therefore, the remainder is zero. If the remainder is zero, then we shall stop right here. So the quotient is x squared plus 6x plus 3. Okay, so now we're going to move to the last example. Okay, so what are the terms available here? So it will be x cubed. Then minus 14x minus 5. So we arrange according to the decreasing order. Since we do not have a x squared, so we have to write plus 0x squared. So it means to say that um, each of the powers of the exponent must be there. Even though we don't have, let's say, x squared or x, we should write x squared and x. However, the numerical coefficient is zero if there is no x squared or x, such that, okay? 
So what are we going to do here is we're going to divide it with x plus 4. So we have to be extra careful when we're going to divide this. However, this is not that hard, but we need to be extra careful on performing this operation since it is a repeating cycle process. So what is the first term of this dividend? This is the first term, while for the divisor, this is the first term. So we have to divide, so it shall be x squared. Then what we're going to do is to multiply this one first, so it will be x cubed. Then 4 with x squared will be 4x squared. Okay, so since both are positive, we're going to change times. So what am I going to do here is simplify, then bring down the next terms of the dividend. Okay, so what am I going to do here right now is we're going to do the same cycle. So negative 4x squared divided by x, so it will be negative 4x. So what are we going to do here is we're going to multiply, okay? So it will be 4x squared because 4x times x is 4x squared. Okay, so what are we going to do here is 4 times minus 4, it will be negative 16x. So what am I going to do is to change sign again. So what am I going to do is simplify, then bring down. Okay, so what is the first term here? Which is 2x divided by x, which shall be 2. Okay, so shall I extend my solution here because it doesn't fit here. So this is the continuation. So 2x minus 5 is the result so far. However, if we multiply the, the last term 2 with the divisor, the result will be 2x plus 8. Although, we have to change the signs for the sake of cancellation of these terms. Okay, so negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13. Okay, so since this is the remainder, okay, so what are we going to do here is to state the quotient, then since our remainder is negative 13, we, we can write minus, since it's negative, then 13 at the top, then the bottom, which is the denominator, we're going to place the divisor. Okay, so that is the answer. So this is the answer of this question. So thank you guys. Happy learning. God bless you. And do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to watch my videos. So happy learning. If you have any questions to ask, feel free to do so. Thank you.